Hi friends, it's Pastor Veronica here, and um, we'll wait for a few of you to, to get signed on, but um, it's Pastor Veronica here with uh, story time with Pastor Veronica for you tonight, and normally I would have a stuffed animal to share with you, um, as well as wearing my comfiest cozy pajamas, but I thought that today I would wear my Briarwood, which is... Briarwood Retreat Center, um, Briarwood Retreat and Leadership Center, which is uh, part of, it's one of the ministries of the Northern Texas and Northern Louisiana Synod, um, which we're a part of. And it's in Argyle, Texas, and I have been there before, and it is such a great place. And so I thought I would wear my Briarwood shirt today because, I don't know, for some reason it was kind of it was kind of rainy and stormy today and it made me think of summer and being at camp and um, so I thought I would wear it today. Now you might notice that normally I have a stuffed animal with me for, um, for reading my story, but I thought because tonight I'm reading Harry the Dirty Dog, um, written by Jean Zion and illustrated by Margaret Boy Graham. It's right here. Here's a copy of, uh, here's my copy of Harry the Dirty Dog because I'm going to be reading Harry the Dirty Dog tonight. I thought that I would bring with me a dog. Now this is not Harry. This is Pepper. Pepper is a Shih Tzu, and she's five years old, and she is relatively new to our family. We got her just a couple weeks ago, and she has made herself right at home. And you'll notice that if you look at the cover, in fact, I'm going to change my light around a little bit so we can see the color a little more. So here you go. Here's the cover of Harry the Dirty Dog, and here is my dog, Pepper. And I don't know about you guys, but Pepper looks like she has a lot of the same colors as the dog in our story. So what do you think of that, Pepper? Yeah? All right, Pepper, are you gonna stay on my lap for our story tonight? I think so. Well, here we go. Harry the Dirty Dog, written by Jean Zion, with pictures by Margaret Bloy Graham. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything. Everything except getting a bath. So one day when he heard the water running in the tub, he took the scrubbing brush. Oh, let's see. And buried it in the backyard. Oh, oh Pepper, are you changing your mind? I don't know, Pepper might be changing her mind. Oh, he buried it in the backyard and then he ran away from home. Uh-oh. Pepper, you better not run away from home. He played where they were fixing the street and got very dirty. He played at the railroad and got even dirtier. He played tag with other dogs and became dirtier still. Here we go. He slid down a coal chute and got the dirtiest of all. In fact, he changed from a white dog with black spots to a black dog with white spots. There we go. He looks a little different, don't you think? Although there were many other things to do, Harry began to wonder if his family thought that he had really run away. He felt tired and hungry too, so without stopping on the way, he ran back home. There he is, running home. When Harry got to his house, he crawled through the fence and sat looking at the back door. One of the family looked out and said, there's a strange dog in the backyard. By the way, has anyone seen Harry? Oh, they think he's a strange dog. Uh-oh. When Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show them he was Harry. He started to do all his old clever tricks. He flip-flopped and he flop-flipped. 
He rolled over and played dead. Look at all those tricks. Pepper, you don't know any of those tricks yet, do you? He danced and he sang. He did these tricks over and over again, but everyone shook their heads and said, oh no, it couldn't be Harry. Do you know what it sounds like when a dog sings? I bet we can try it together. How? Maybe you can do it too. Harry gave up and walked slowly toward the gate, but suddenly he stopped. He ran to a corner of the garden and started to dig furiously. Soon he jumped away from the hole, barking short, happy barks. Can you do some short, happy barks? Woof, 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 woof. Pepper, did you hear those barks? There he is, doing his short little barks. Woof, woof, woof. He'd found the scrubbing brush, and carrying it in his mouth, he ran into the house. Up the stairs he dashed, with the family following close behind. Well, where do you think he's going when he goes upstairs? He's taking that scrubbing brush. He jumped into the bathtub and sat up begging with a scrubbing brush in his mouth, a trick he certainly had never done before. This little doggie wants a bath, cried the little girl, and her father said, why don't you and your brother give him one? Here we go, there he is in the tub with a scrubbing brush. Harry's bath was the soapiest one he'd ever had. It worked like magic. As soon as the children started to scrub, they began shouting, Mommy, Daddy, look, look, come quick. It's Harry, it's Harry, it's Harry, they cried. Harry wagged his tail and was very, very happy. His family combed and brushed him lovingly, and he became once again a white dog with black spots. Wow, what a difference, huh? It was wonderful to be home. After dinner, Harry fell asleep in his favorite place, happily dreaming of how much fun it had been getting dirty. He slept so soundly, he didn't even feel the scrubbing brush he'd hidden under his pillow. Do you see it? Right there is the scrubbing brush. And he fell asleep right on it. The end. Well, I don't know about you, but I think that is such a fun book and a reminder that it's okay to go away and have some fun, but that things are pretty wonderful at home. I don't know about you guys, but we've all been spending an awful lot of time at home lately, and sometimes that might be really hard. I bet a lot of you miss your friends and miss seeing your family that doesn't live with you, like your aunts and uncles and grandparents um, and cousins and lots of friends, and I'm sure that's really hard. You know what, I miss my family and friends a lot too, but I try to remember how lucky I am to have a home where people love me and are thankful for me. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't have any trouble taking a bath like Carrie does. I love taking baths, but I will say that Pepper, my doggy here, she is not a fan of taking a bath. So. If you are interested in learning more about Harry the Dog, reading his story, you can check out Harry the Dirty Dog by Jean Zion with pictures by Margaret Bloy Graham. I hope you'll check out this book. And remember, God loves you and Pepper loves you. And so do I. Good night, friends.